Hey everybody, Ann here in the tiny house having my coffee. Just about finished with it. And I have some bad news about the little bunny. It didn't make it through the night. Um, it was in its little hutch thing. And a hutch within the hutch, but I went out this morning and it wasn't it wasn't alive, and I think it just had been too injured or too shocked. Um, it didn't really seem like it was eating and drinking a lot, so but that's okay. Um, at least I gave it my shot. But the good thing is I just got off the phone with Lena from Red Road Homestead, and she is going to bring me some rabbits tomorrow. So you'll get to see that in the next video or the video after that. So I'm going to go out and make sure that uh, that whole thing out there is looking good um, and just kind of, well, get it together for the rabbits. I think I'm only going to have a total of three to start out with just to see how I can do and how quickly they reproduce and what I'm going to have to do with um, the males separating them and all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited. Uh, today I got to work on the chicken yards. I'm going to pull up some more posts um, and do that sort of stuff. So um, I may take you along with me. I may not because that's kind of boring. But well, we'll just see what this day brings. My truck bed is finally empty. I went to the dump and put everything in the dump. So just about 50 more loads to go and I'll be good. It's still alive. I can't believe it. It's starting to get more green on it. So I don't know, I think this one may live. I've just been moving some water around. I had to bring some more inside the tiny house. So just one more tank to fill up and I think I'm done with the water situation for today. I think I'm just gonna go foraging today. So far, I've worked with water, <laughs> moved some water around, um, went foraging for the chickens. I got them a big, big thing of grass and all kinds of beautiful wild greens and um, some worms and bugs. You know what? I, I had thought of building another worm bin, but I don't need to. My whole property is a worm bin. I just put uh, cardboard and wood down in certain places and every few days I go lift it up and there you go. Lots of worms. So awesome. I'm looking forward to getting my rabbits tomorrow. But today, um, I haven't been doing a lot of walking around and looking on my property for stuff. So I'm going to go forage. Just forage a little bit. I may not find anything. I don't care. Um, but I would love to find some mushrooms. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen today, but I'm still going to go look anyhow. While I'm standing here waiting for this uh, little water thing to fill up, um, I told you that I went to the dump. Well, I pulled up and there was only one other person there. Um, it was a gentleman. I thought it was the guy that worked there. And he saw the huge, huge pile of trash in the back of my truck. And he says, I'm going to help you offload your, your, your trash. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And I remember I had those big, huge garbage bags. Um, and I mean, I filled them up too, too much. I don't think I could have done it without his help. He's just grabbing them and hurling them in there. And um, we just worked together, and I couldn't believe it. I said, oh, thank you so much. And he says, you would have had a hard time doing that all by yourself. I says, I know it. I, I just really appreciate it. And he says, well, that's what a good Christian does. And you know what? That's right. So I'm going to try and be kind of like that maybe. Um, I don't know there's anything that I can do to help other people in that manner, but if I am given the opportunity, I'm certainly going to pay it forward because this man was just so nice. But he wasn't even the worker, the, the guy who runs the place. It was just another guy coming and offloading his own trash. And I thought, I thought you worked here. But no, he didn't. Um, so that was pretty awesome. Anyhow, I'm not going to let it... I'm not going to let it pile up like that, but I'm also not going to use bags quite that big because I can't lift them. Oops, water done. <laughs> yeah, I kind of got a little bit too much in there. That's okay. It was kind of nice. Nice to be able to have that help and uh, to be able to come home and have an empty truck bed. Now all i got to do is clean it out. So, uh, well, let me get this water in the shed. I like to store it in here in the shade. I would love to have five or six of those, that would give me a lot of extra water. But you know what I was thinking? I haven't started this generator in over two weeks. So 
Let's go ahead and turn this baby on. <laughs> you guys know the drill. Choke to half. And let's do it. Yep, I just let it run for a little bit, about once every other week. It's been a little bit longer from the last time, but uh, it's still working absolutely beautifully. So far, all I've found are some pine cones, but that's all right. I need pine cones, and I just work with the compost heap, too, so that's good. This is my favorite mushroom log, and I will be highly surprised if I get any, any more mushrooms off this at all. All of the uh, bark is gone. There's probably no more nutrients in it. So, I don't know. I mean, I'll keep checking it, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Yeah, it's just not time for mushrooms yet. Not a single mushroom to be found. Nowhere. That's okay. It's not time. The chickens have managed to stay in the yard. I can't believe it, Patsy. Patsy here, let me show you. She's ready to go out. I figured out how she was getting out. That uh, netting had come down from the wheel well, and I think she was jumping up and getting out through there. She was on the one. I may let them out a little bit later, but um, I don't know. It's kind of nice just having them in this yard. Look at her. She's determined. All right, I'm going to get you guys some food, so maybe you'll be happy in here a little bit longer. It's been a beautiful day. Aside from the fact that the little bunny didn't make it, everything else was pretty good. Watered the plants, cleaned out the uh, big sink outside, played with the puppies a little bit. Oh, I just don't want to get rid of these puppies so bad. I just... <sighs> but I've got to... I gotta figure something out with them. Anyhow, I think I'm just gonna light a fire and cook something. Kinda chill out for the rest of the day. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.